Good evening, got a crap by Kim. It's 10 of 9. I know it should be 9 or 5 after, but I have a lot to get started today. I have a lot to do. How's everybody? Good evening, good evening, good evening. Surprise. I don't know if it's a surprise or not, but I am here going live. I'm going to be live for a minute. How's everybody? Oh, sorry, y'all. <laughs> yep. So, hey, beautiful day. Oh, I love this heat. You see, I have my sweatshirt on. If it gets any colder, I'll be putting my hat on. So, how's everybody this evening? I am glad you are here. Welcome. It's going to be a long night, and I probably will not finish the reef I'm trying to do because it's going to take a minute, but I am going to go through the steps. This is probably what's going to take the longest. I am showing you guys how to do a center from a, I think it's five, six-inch foam half. All right, and we're going to make the center for this reef I'm going to do. And it is this color. It is blue and blue, and it's going to have green leaves. So it's a royal blue, and it's a navy blue with green leaves. Hopefully it'll work out. I'm trying this new petal that I just came came up with last evening. So it's, it's a Dean Michael petal, but it's two Dean Michael petals that I put together a certain way. So first we're going to start with the center. So what I did actually was I took my scissors and I went in the center and made a little hole for the start. I'm going to bring this closer together. Uh, so you won't see my face anymore. Hi. So we're going to go down a little bit so we can see more of the table. And I'm going to try to bring us a little closer so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So this is just um, some twine or rope that I got off of Amazon, and it's called West Coast Paracord Twisted Three Strand. It's a natural cord. So that's what it looks like. And if you are uh, interested in the link, I'll post the information in this video, okay? All right, so let's get started. So we're just going to take the end, which is held together by a little plastic. All right, and we're just going to put it in this hole and start. My glue gun should be ready. Yay. I didn't forget to do that. Let me make sure I have some glue sticks up here. Got to get some right here. I'm just going to take a few. Of course, my Gorilla Glue Sticks. That was a bag. Okay. Put a few on the table. And all we're going to do is put a little glue in the hole. And we're going to stick this plastic in. And then we're just going to start Rolling it around. And that's how centers come about. Just going to add glue. And I usually like to just drag some of the glue up a little bit. So it can come in between. I don't know if I need to bring you guys a little closer. How about that? And we're just going to continue to add glue around. So this is going to be our center. Let me get another glue stick. I knew I would need one. Because it's not coming out like it should. All right. I've had this cord for a while. This doesn't have no use for it. I don't know why I buy stuff and don't. I, well, I'm glad I did because I had an idea. Yep. So how was your Friday? Hope it was great, grand, 
and you're doing everything you want to do today. And that stick came out. It's all right. And the weekend. It's Father's Day weekend, y'all. Yep. Who has plans for dinner? Don't make them barbecue, y'all. It's Father's Day. Y'all barbecue for them. Is that the, was that a joke? <laughs> Take him out to dinner. Yep. So we're just going around in a circle. And I am holding it a little bit so it can stick. Yep, just, I'm just applying glue as I go along. There we go. Now I shouldn't have a problem. And like I said, I like to, um, when I put the rope down, I like to kind of drag some of the glue up so it'll be a little secure in, the, in between and not just under the bottom. I'll show you again how, what I like to do. When I get around, maybe you can see it a little better. Yep. So this is what I do. I like to drag some of the glue up so I can get in the center. Just drag it up. I'm not sure if my hand was in the way then. So this is what I do. Drag it up. Okay. Yep, so making centers is uh, not too hard. It doesn't have to be this foam ball. It could be the uh, white one as well. It doesn't matter. As a matter of fact, it doesn't have to be a half oval, a half ball. It could be a flat piece of cardboard, and you could just go around in a circle till you get to the outer edge as well. Maybe I'll do one of those so you, I can show you how easy that one is as well. All right, so I'm just dragging it up. And it's, it really holds tight to this uh, foam ball. I really should have something under me, like my other old uh, mat. Cause I'm getting close to the end. So let me bring up the old mat because it has glue on it already. I don't want to get too much glue on that one. Although once it gets hard, it will pop off with some effort. Oh, that was glue. Mm. Okay, here we go. Drag it up. Now, and it gets a little twisty here, as you can see. Just, you know, straightened out. Y'all hear my washing machine? <laughs> That's that little piece that goes into the tub, the drain tub. That's all right. It'll stop soon. I'm always doing something, washing, those, washing mommy's clothes. Yep. Ouch. I like burning myself, y'all know. That glue gets hot. I'm just trying to make sure that it's all together, that it's no spaces. I'm just prepping this for the reef because I am going to be using a, a unique in the creek board so it doesn't need a center. I'm using a small board. I hope this works out. I'm, I don't know why I'm trying something uh, new, but 
I'm going to give it a shot, y'all. Alright. I do not own the rights to that music. If you can hear it, maybe not tonight. So. Oh, it's quiet down here now. So I didn't do nothing today. I went to see my mom. Uh, ran a couple errands. I didn't stay out too long today. And that's about it. Had to go. I picked up some uh, pretzels for the crew there. Where mommy is. And they have water rice for the for the residents. So they enjoyed that. Yep. So we're almost finished this ball. And I almost did this last night in a separate video and just posted it. But I got a little tired. It was already 11 o'clock. So. Yep. So. Sometimes if you see. I got a little bit right here that I need to do. And it's finished over here. So what I do. I just uh, kind of cut it and glue it and then do a little piece on that side because all of these excuse me balls aren't perfect so, so I'm just going to cut that there put a little glue because here so we can adhere the tail end and just sit it there no, I need my fingers, you think? Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to put another clip on the bottom to uh, hold it. So when I attach it to the reef, it'll be ready. So I have one little piece here that I'm going to cover. Can you see it? Just that little edge right there. I could leave it because the mesh will probably, uh, when it goes on the board, you probably won't see it, but I won't leave it because I think it needs another piece. Put my fingers on. Just a little piece. Like from here to there. So I'm going to cut it here. Oh, I have plenty left for the next, another one, right? Yep. So let's put some glue. And I'm going to sit that right there. And that should be fine. Of course, I have to do the ends. The glue kind of melts into the uh, foam, so you don't won't have a problem with it sticking or staying. So that's how you do center a center. I'm gonna show you another center. I, I did two last night, but I used um, tissue paper. Napkins. I'll show it to you. They're cute too. I was going to use it for this, but I think this will be much better. All right, we got one more in. Over here, looks like I need another glue stick. See how you go through glue sticks? <laughs> use a, if you use a glue, you use a lot of it. So. So that's your center. There you go. That was it. Pretty, huh? Kind of like that. You take my fingers off. And put my little backing on while we're uh, doing that reef I'm getting ready to do. 
I'm only going to use one. That should be enough. That's what this looks like. And you just stick the zip tie inside. Try to make sure the ends are kind of even. And twist it. Take that sticky back off. Yes, I'm going to add some Gorilla Glue for extra support. And I'm going to just sit that right in there, kind of push it down into that foam. And add a little more around the edges. So, when we get ready to put it on the wreath, it'll be nice and dry. All right, so that's it. We're going to sit that aside. Now. I'm going to get this out of the way. I have enough for like two more, I guess. Right off the top of my head. Tool. T U L L E. I'm thinking about making a wreath out of it. Alright. So we're going to be doing the Dean Michael pedal. I have a couple of the navy blue to cut. I, I left a couple uh, so you guys can see again how to cut poly burlap. So I have, uh, I'm going to cut three more. Let me get my board. This is my glass cutting board from Amazon. And it's temp heat tempered, so. When you use the uh, wood burning tool, it won't harm your pad. And as you see, you see any of my red lines? I don't know if you can see them clear or not. But I have a couple of, I have a red line here. No, you can't see it, but I have one here. Like, uh, you can't see that either. Let me go out a little bit. These are my guides. Can you see a little red line right there? So I can see through it. It's right, one right there. They kind of faded, I see. That's a half. And that's my other one. So when I place the board on top, the glass board on top, I can see through the glass board when I'm cutting the mesh. And from this white to this white, it's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it should be one over here. All right? And this will be ten and a half. So I have three more poly burlap I'm going to cut at ten. I think I cut it from here to here, so that's what I'm going to do. And it's poly burlap mesh. And it's generally cut with your wood burning tool. You would not use your... Okay. You would not use your rotary cutter for this because you want to seal it because it's uh, it really sh can sh shred or it's the cross can come out very easily and the, using the wood burning tool kind of helps it not fray as much. It will still fray but not as much. Now remember the more you handle any mesh, whether it's poly burlap, deco, fabric, any of it, it'll fray more. So 
the least you handle it, the better it is. All right, so we're going to measure 10 inches, and we're going to use the wood burning tool, and we're going to use the peak of it, if you can see it. And we're just going to cut right in between the two uh, ver horizontal or vertical lines. Straight down, and it kind of sits singes the edges. All right, so that was one. Every My little pop-up keeps coming up. So I, I'm trying to see it all, but now when you're cutting, you should wear a mask. Of course, my window is open. And masks are so easy to use nowadays, right? Because we all do them. We all use them or 90% of us do. And I said us, because I do when I go in public places, like stores or what have you. And you just go straight down in between the two threads. And that's how you cook Holly Burlap. All right, and that was it. I have uh, videos on my YouTube channel as well. I'm not sure if you can find them in the group. But I did it. They are in the group. I'm gonna put my little tag back inside. So this, and I've done most of the petals, except for uh, two of the ones I made up, and these two. So we're gonna do again the Dean. It's called the Dean Michael petal. I've cut my greenery already. Most of my petals are already done over here, so let's do a Dean Michael petal. All right, let's curl up. Remember, you have your factory edges on left and right, and you want to turn it into a diamond shape. You take the bottom one and you go up to the meet the middle top one and you want to make a triangle. So if it comes out, so that was 10 inches. I'm probably over counted. So 10 by 10 will make a perfect triangle. You want to start imaginary line up the middle right to that peak and you want to scrunch up and you want to fold it over. And try to make sure that your peaks are about even. You can see that. All right. And I just grabbed a, a little butt at the bottom and put a rubber band around. You don't have to if you're cutting and applying, putting them right on the board. It, you don't have to put the rubber band on the end. But when you pre-make them, you're going to have to. All right, and I just push it up a little bit in the middle. And that's your Dean Michael petal. All right, we're gonna do it again. I have a few more to do because of this. Uh, I put two Dean Michael petals together. So I'm hoping it's gonna look really nice. I've never done it before. Once I put it on the board, so again, curl up, factory edges on left and right side, turn it into a triangle shape, take the bottom peak, bring it up to the top, and you see how I go underneath? I want my edges to be practically even. So I just take them, poly burlap gives so nice, so you don't have to uh, worry about it too much. All right, so you can just play with poly burlap and it'll do a lot of different things for you. So we're going to go scrunch straight up the middle, bring the pedal around, hold the middle, try to make sure your peaks are about even, grab you a little bit in the middle, like so, and put a rubber band around them. This, I found it so easy 
it makes your process so fast, much faster when you pre-make your petals. All right, I'm just pressing it down because, like I said, poly burlap is so forgiving. Put it on my box. I'm gonna do one more. Well, I'm gonna do actually a few more. All right, because now I have to do that little royal blue one. And it's two Dean Michaels together. So we're gonna scrunch up the middle, bring them around. Did you see how I brought it around? Just bring it around. I hold it here, turn it to my right, grab that middle, make sure my peaks are about even. Grab me a squeeze it and grab me a little nub like that, and put a rubber band on. And I kind of press it down. All right. All right. Now this one with this royal. So I have two to make, and I'm just putting two D Michael petals together. Now the first one I'm going to do exactly like I just showed you. Curl up, factory edges on the side, left and right turn it around to the triangle you have one factory edge top left one factory edge bottom right same thing bring the peaks and make a meet all right and we're going to scrunch right up the middle same thing we just did and bring it around make sure your peaks about even and now I'm going to put a clip on this one because remember I said I'm trying something new that I just thought of last night so we're going to do another D Michael pedal we're going to put two together but now we're going to do curl up factory edges left and right but instead of top left, bottom right, we're going to do it the opposite, top right, bottom left in a triangle. Top right, bottom left. The first one was top left for the factory edge, bottom right, factory edge. The second pedal, we're going to do just the opposite top right factory edge, bottom left factory edge. Same pedal though. It's just the placement of the uh, mesh when you're doing it. All right? So we're going to do the same thing. Scrunch it up. It's just when you before you start, you have to do your mesh a certain way. Same pedal, if you see. And so now I'm going to flip it over. Because I want the petals to be going in, look, to be going in the opposite direction. Wait, y'all. I knew this was going to happen when I went live. I want these to go up, so I'm going to flip them over. Because I want the, the second one to go up the factory edges up. Alright, and then I'm just going to put them two together. Here. I just did all of them so easy. And now here I go live. But it's alright. I got it. Don't pay me no mind, y'all. And now we're going to put them all together. Get our little nub. I'm going to do it again. No fret. And we're just going to put, I put two on it since I have two pieces and it's kind of thick. I put two rubber bands on it to hold it because that's how I want it to look. The one with the wings going out goes up. Can you see it? So that's what I want right there. I want this piece right here. All right. That's what I want it to look like. What does that remind y'all of? Don't
Don't say it out loud, though. All right, but that's what I want it to look like. So we're going to do it one more time. The first one, factory edges left and right, factory edges top left, bottom right. Dean Michael Petal. Can you see I'm kind of stretching it, trying to make that bottom straight? All right. It will stretch. It's probably burlap stretches. Mm, excuse me. I had a nice salad for dinner. All right, there's my first petal. Same idea. I'm going to put my little clip, and I'm going to hold it. Now we're going to do the next one. Factory edges left and right, but instead of top left, bottom right, factory edges is going to be top right, bottom left. Same petal. Bring it up to the peak. Smooth it out. It creased pretty good. All right, now we're just going to walk it up, scrunch it up. And we're going to put our, I'm going to flip, look, wait now. I'm going to flip it. Nope. I'm not flipping this one. Give me a second, y'all. That's right. So I did that. I'm not flipping this one. I don't know what happened to the last one. But I'm not flipping this one. It's the same pedal. Let me do it again. I'm sorry if I conf I'm confusing you. Sometimes it goes so right, and then when you do it live, it goes not exactly how you planned it. But that's it. So now I'm going to take the first one and put it together with the second one. And I'm just going to fold them up and grab me a little knot or a nub and put a rubber band around it. I knew it was something, so this came up with this last night. I was like, oh God, it might be pretty. I might like it. I like the petal. All right, so there we go. I'm spreading it out just a little bit and flattening it out. Still have my nub, but that's the petal. The open petal is on the bottom and the one going left to right is on top. All right. I'm going to do it again, but I don't I'll do it another time depending on how this is going to come out. Like I said, this is my first time. I didn't try it before I came live. I just like the pedal, so I want to use it. All right. So all the pedals are done. Now we're going to put the green on first after I get rid of this board. This glass board and since I'm using a small board, it won't, since all the petals are done, it shouldn't take that long, I hope. All right. I might do a short video, maybe tomorrow or Sunday, on this petal if I love it. If I love it, right, y'all? All right, let me get the greenery. They're cut at 10 by 10 as well. They're already done. And you see I have my board marked. Yep, always mark my board. 95% of the time my board is marked. So I have the G's because I'm putting the petals on the outside. And then I have dark blue, light blue, and then dark blue. I didn't do because I'm going to share holes in the middle as usual and that's what it looks like to start all right so let's do our green I need zip ties yep and let's get started so when you're doing your petals, you just want to place your
I'm looking for the, the holes. So right here, if you see where I have it marked, like a little U or maybe facing you as a W, I mean a, a N and a G. So we're going to put a green here, but also we have our hook is going to be here. Our hanger. So I'm going to do that. Put that in. Get that out the way because here is number one spot on the unique in the creek boards all of number one so that would be your hanging hole all right so remember unique in the creek u i t c you can also order the boards on etsy uh unique in the creek is based in canada y'all and they i think our country's charges a surf tax but you can order them on Etsy. Uh, Amazon has their boards as well, I believe, now. Again, at one time, I think it stopped. But I think they do now. All right. So I have green here. And generally, we're going to put our leaves in. And we're not going to... Um, preload the board. We preload the green because we have to put the pedal in between. The rest of them are already preloaded, which means closed a little bit. All right. So actually, when you do the greenery, and it's going to be nine of them, it's actually the the same as the Dean Michael pedal. All right. Same thing. And we just want to sit it in where we have a G. Then we're going to put it on the outside, facing outward. And they're cut at 10 by 10 as well. And I like, I'm going up here and I'm going to squeeze it a little bit. And we're going to put the green on first because after we get our other petals on, we really don't want to go back and mess with the petals. So we're going to do the green. So I just took my wood burning tool and just trim that thread down a little bit. All right, so we're going to do another one. Get another zip tie. We're going to put one where, where all of the G's are. It's going to go around, not close, facing outward, right in the middle. I think I said the other night that I was going to try to do one from start to finish. Well, this is it. it takes a lot of prep. And I'm going to fold it up a little bit and make it a little tighter so it can kind of stay out. Cut it off. We're going to put another one in. Not loaded, we're just going to do our petals all the way around. All right. So, making a reef is really takes a lot of time. And imagine if I would have cut all the mesh, right? Live. And so it was 16 pieces of each mesh, except for the leaves, which were nine. All right, so it takes a little prep. Then you have to fold each petal. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
So we would have been almost two hours just doing a, one reef, cutting every petal. So just cut a, a few, showed you how to cut. I prepped mostly all of them. So we're going to turn it over, sit it in. I'm going to fold it up a little bit, trying to make sure the peaks are about even. They got planned for Father's Day? Anybody? I'm not going to do anything. Nothing spectacular. I'm not grilling. I do grill though. I might grill or something. Is this a weather supposed to be nice? Anybody know? You know, they say they don't celebrate Father's Day like they do Mother's Day. I wonder why that is. Takes two. <laughs> All right, we got a few more. Let's see if I can move along. So these are the leaves. I'm, a whole, I'm still in my head about the petal I'm trying to create that I created. Hopefully it'll look nice. We'll see. We shall see. I know if I don't like it, I will tear it apart and start all over again. But I think I'm going to like it. I like the pedal anyway. Bring that up. So what did y'all do today? The weather was beautiful. Oh, okay. Nice, Pat. used the grill this year. I'm not saying I used it once and I do use the grill. So I don't mind using it. So I'm actually doing every other one of the double holes that's on the this small board. I'm not doing every hole. So it's two together so I'm only using one of them but it's still every other one. And in the end, if I think I need more, I will put more on later. But I don't think I need more. I think this is plenty, y'all. So I have two more greens. Yep. See how it frays a little bit? So I'm going to take my little, I didn't turn my, see the fray a little bit? I'm just going to take my little wood burning tool and kind of like burn it off. I think this is the last one. Yep. I, I got one extra, but we're not going to use it. I don't think we're going to use it. We'll find out when everything is done. So this time I use leaves all the way around. Most times I just use uh, just leaves at maybe the bottom or the sides. But uh, this time I'm using a leaf all the way around. All right. All right, pray for me. Because <laughs> this pillow I'm trying to use that I put together myself. All right, so now I have dark blue. So let's do the dark blue. Dark blue is on the outside, then the light blue. So this will go pretty smoothly. 
so let's just go ahead and start putting these in. We're going to put them in uh, just a nub part right to where the next row begins. All right. And they are already done, so. Just remember placement. Remember I told you guys I, I like to uh, put my pedal in sideways instead of in the center of the two. So I'm trying to be mindful of that now. So we're doing dark blue, light blue, I mean royal blue, and then dark blue again. And then we're going to put that center in. So remember placement. I'm trying to see what's in the way except for my sleeves on my jacket. I think I'm going to have to take my jacket off now. I don't think we're going to need any more leaves. Yep. Give me a second. Let me take this hot jacket off. I know I'm hot. And I'm usually cold. It's, it's, so it's really humid outside. Mm. Oh, that feels better. Y'all know I don't like being uh, cold, so... So who's planning on vacation? Anybody going out of the country? Flying down somewhere? We should be. It's time, right? It's time to travel. I think it's going to be nice. What do you think? With the blue. Let's see what it's going to look like with that royal coming up. You're just going to make sure all your petals is facing the same way. You don't want any petal, the outside going in. You want everything going in the same order. So when you make your petals, make sure they are in the same direction. All right, I have one more. Then we're going to try this funny looking petal I came up with. Excuse me, and see what that looks like. So it's two Dean Michaels together. All right, let's see what happens. I hope I like it. I hope you like it. So that's the petal. If you look at it in replay, You'll see how it's made, and I might make a little video. Oh, okay. Look at that, y'all. Not bad, huh? Hmm. I gotta pull this one really tight because it's uh, two petals together. So let me get my pulleys. That's not bad. Okay, how about that? Remember placement. It's going to get really full around here. Ooh, my water. And they're going to overlap, which is okay. That's what makes it full. All right. We 
we doing okay? You like that combination? The blue, the green, we'll see how it comes out and finish it. And I think that center is really going to set it off. We will see. Now I'm getting cold again. <laughs> having one more request for July 4th, another July the 4th. Well, it doesn't have to be just July the 4th. Veterans Day could be used for as well, so. All right, so I'm going to be doing that. I'm not going to do that one live, though. I might. I'm going to go, I'm going on vacation next week, y'all. I will not be doing any lives next week. I will post hellos, but I won't be doing any lives. Take a week off. I'll post some pictures. I am going away. So, well needed, well deserved. Not out of the country though, I'm just going to visit a friend. are there. Now the only thing I have to do is load, preload the center. And I wanted to guys to see that. That's why I haven't done that yet. But that's pretty decent, huh? Those two pedals together. Not bad. What you think? Oh, cool, Pat. I like these two together, too. I didn't know how it was going to turn out, actually. But uh, I'm glad it's coming out. It's coming together. Yep. So this will take you right into fall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. They don't never look like much once you start, but once it starts coming together, the outcomes are so pretty. And not just mine, others as well. They, you start off like, mm mm, that's not going to really do it. But then the more you put the mesh on, the pattern, the leaves, you'll be like, oh, yes. So one more here. Yeah, so I'll, I'm going to go back and spread them out. You know how at the end I always, well, I try not to do it anymore while I'm doing it. I don't do it as much. All right. So now we're going to preload the center. It is going to be I think I have eight. So we're going to share holes. Alright, hope you can see. So we're going to share each hole. So normally it would be just four but we're going to share the holes around here. So it's one, two, three, four. So we're just going to make it eight and share them. Just to make sure we have that coverage in the middle. All right.
And then we're just gonna uh, put the, that navy mesh back. I have uh, eight pieces, put our finish, our center on, and then that'll be it. Y'all know I'll be taking pictures in the morning. Let me get what I need. Three more. Uh oh. This was a thousand, a bag of a thousand. But that's okay. I have. You just use them when you work. And they do come in colors, the uh, zip ties. But most of the time, white. Because you uh, really never know. If you buy black, you you don't use too much black mesh. You don't want to keep buying green. All right, so that's what that is. So we just I just buy all white. I'm gonna have to go through here. Give me a sec. So remember, I said don't forget when you are doing this you don't want to close up the wrong one so I always kind of pull to make sure I have the right one because believe me I have closed up the wrong one did that close? that didn't close so that's it mm -hmm. Yeah, this is kind of cute. I like this royal too, special. That's royal, right? Yep. Yeah, because the other one is navy. So I'm going to pull that that belongs with that one. That belongs with this one. I have closed them up, three of them. And they were the wrong ones. So you go through a lot of zip ties. <laughs> I have. I've taken a, a reef apart because I didn't like it. So that was 50 zip ties. But trial and error all the time. You think you're going to like something. Turns out it's like, mm -mm, we're going to do something else with that. Yep. I know I have one more that I need to share. It's right there. Right? So let's go down and back up. I have a puppy down here that's chewing on his leg. You know, he doesn't like anything. He doesn't like dirt on him. That's my my buddy that's always down here. He doesn't want anything on him. So he will, whew, until he is, think he's clean. All right. Max, please. I'm going to take care of you. We usually, uh, Wipe them down and everything when they come back from their walk. <laughs> and his allergies are really bad right now. You hear him? Mm-hmm. But that's okay. He's okay. Yep. So what you think? You think it's coming nice? That's center. Wait till that center comes. Oh yeah. It is. A lot of mesh. Yep, so it's 16 the pieces of mesh with the the royal because it's double. Normally it would be eight. And it's eight in the middle. Um eight blue, I think, on the second row, and then it's nine green. Yep. So it is what it is. Really pretty though. I'm I'm liking this. I hope you guys do. Oh yeah. Yep.
then that center. If you, if you look at the uh, video and replay, you'll see how I made the center. And if you see it in replay, watch the video and replay. Just hashtag replay. Uh, I'm going to post this also in my YouTube channel is Kim B E A T T Y. If you're interested in going to see the videos over there, and subscribe. Yep. Come on over. I try to post most of the videos that I do here in the group over there. So, yep. I'm thinking about having a sidewalk sale next month, y'all. So I need to get some space down here, really. I'll let you know a couple weeks ahead of time. Y'all can ride past. Come give me a shout out. I'm going to discount some of the wreaths. But I need room, y'all. I need room. <laughs> oh. Yep. See how I close that center off? You don't even see board down there. Look at that. Yep. Love. Okay, so I cut too many navies. I only got one left, and I got one left in the box. But that's all right. Make sure this mesh, this nub is under that zip tie, y'all. Yep. Remember, I still do classes, y'all. If you need, want to have a group at your house, a little group. Five max, y'all. I'm not doing more than five. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. I am so excited about this. Yes. I'm always on the wrong side because I'm trying. I'm trying to find this 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 one. There you go. So I can fix it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take my little wood burning tool, a little bit of came up. So I'm going to burn those edges. Yeah. There we go. And of course I would spray it once I take it outside and play with the leaves a little bit before I spray it. Alright, let's put our center in. What you think? Ha! Look at that. Love that center with this. Let me come out a little bit. Whoa! Look at that center. Amazing. Alright, let me put it on. Mm -hmm. Alright, we just want to find two holes to share with the zip ties. Maybe. Y'all know this is my tough part right here. Ugh. Y'all know this is, I struggle with this. I'm gonna get it though. It takes sometimes it takes this is heavy, this center. But it blends right nice, really nicely. Alright. Y'all notice my weakness. Putting this uh these centers on. Right? Mm -hmm. See? Look at the Chanel stem bent on me. I'm going to overcome it, though. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm going to overcome. Got it. There we go. All right, get right. Thank you. Y'all like this? Thanks, Pat. Do a few twists back here. Yep. 
make sure it stays. I'm not going to cut that off. I'm just going to cut this one off just a little bit. And we're going to stick it back in the hole so we can have a flat back so it won't scrape your doors. Doesn't matter which hole, as long as it goes back in the hole. Here we go. Get down. Get down on it. There we go. Oh, we came back out. Let's try another hole. All right. And then, of course, I'm putting my little logo back here. I like my little logo. I don't know if it's, some of you might not have seen it, but there we go. Done. Let me flip it over. A beauty. Oh my gosh. I'm loving it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hey, pretty. Thank you. That is it. Thanks for hanging in there with me, too. Oh, yeah. A beauty. Love. Thank you guys so much. If you have any questions, I'm going to take pictures of it in the morning, of course, and I'll post them. And you guys have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget my YouTube channel. And have a great Father's Day. Enjoy. And I will talk to you guys. I'll, Sunday, I'll make one. I'll be posting next week, but I won't be doing any lives. But I'll be talking to you guys. Have a great weekend. Enjoy. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you, Pat.